Greetings, fellow streamers. Today we're going to show you a DNS that does work with Netflix and allows you to do multiple regions, but it will only work on devices such as your computer and Amazon Fire. We're right now running it on our uh, Roku streaming stick. Uh, we have the DNS set up on our Wi-Fi router, and you can see that we're getting an issue, and that is because we have detected that the software on your Roku pretty much reveals Netflix, all of your data regarding your Wi-Fi connection and internet service. And you can see it pretty much showed the DNS servers that we had on our computer, um, I mean, on our Wi-Fi router, and that's what's causing us uh, not being able to launch some of the shows. However, those that are Netflix originals, since they are open worldwide, we can see them. The others, we can't. Now, we're going to show you the same shows, but this time running, a, running on an Amazon Fire. This is the good thing, because you see, something curious about the Amazon Fire is that since it's an Android-based platform, we don't have those issues with the software revealing information to Netflix for some reason. I think it's because it seems like Amazon respects more the privacy than Roku, and they're not following that much people on the whole DNS, a VPN issue, but you can see that it works. We have still the same DNS, which we cannot... Uh, pretty much show here because of the whole issue with the DNS. If we show it, people will report it and it will get blocked. So if you want to to see it, uh, just click on the link on the description of this video and you will get access to the DNS service we're using. It's pretty good. As you can see, we are showing the same show, the same movie that we tried on the Roku. We're trying it right now on the Amazon Fire and you will see that it loads perfectly without any issues whatsoever. So this is something that has to do with the software in the devices. For instance, Roku does reveal your location and all the data regarding your Wi-Fi connection, which pretty much tells Netflix that you're using a DNS and it blocks it. But for some reason, the Amazon Fire devices do not. And it's because we think that they're on an Android-based platform. So pretty much they do run perfectly, as you can see. And this is something really good for people that wonder what, what they could do with their uh, Netflix accounts and they got upset about it. There's still one DNS that does work. It's the one that we're showing you right now. Uh, you can get it in the description of this video. So click on it and you will see that it's very simple to use. Now, or you can actually visit it on our web page, our official website, which is blimport.com, and you will see the, the, the gray bar at, at the top of the site. It has a blue icon, which is a click here. It's in Spanish, but you just click on it, and it will take you directly to the uh, VPN service, which also offers the DNS. The thing with the VPN is, is when you click on it, uh, it will show you the page, and you will see pretty much VPN all the way, everywhere. But if you want something simple for your streaming devices and your computer, you can just go for the DNS. You go all the way down, scroll all the way down, and you will find right down at the bottom of the page something that says DNS service. You click on it, and you can purchase the DNS. So it depends on you. If you want something more private, uh, more secure, you can choose the VPN service. It will hide your IP. It will, uh, will suit you for a lot of more sites. But if you're okay and you just want it for Netflix and some other TV uh, apps, just use the DNS. It's up to you. Uh, this is something we, we discovered today. And we, we cannot tell you which DNS is because we're afraid if we do so, uh, people will report it. So just click on the links. You will also get a discount when clicking on them. Uh, the links are in the description and they are on the cards of this video and also on our official website. It's pretty simple to use. Uh, remember something, uh, and it's very important. Uh, the DNS that we use has servers in many countries. I think it's only like four servers. So the DNS varies depending on which server you choose. Make sure you choose the server that is closest to your physical, physical location and set up the DNS on your router depending on the location. If you change the location, you do have to change the DNS settings on your router because the server varies. Uh, up on the page, you will find something that says like uh, status okay and DNS settings correct. Uh, check them out and see if they work. If you want to change the, lead, the, the country for Netflix, just go to supported sites and it will show you an entire drop down list with a lot of sites that they do allow the DNS to work, as you can see, right here, the one we were talking about, the setup. And when you click on it, you will find that Netflix has like nine or 10 countries. You can choose whatever country you want and it will update the library on your device. Remember that it only works for your computer, 
some smart TVs and also on the Amazon Fire. If you have a Roku, it will not work. As we said, it is an issue with the uh, Roku device, which is revealing the, the content. Here you see what we talk about, uh, the DNS settings on the uppermost part of the site. Just check them out. Your IP should be active. Your DNS settings are going to show correct if you do choose the corresponding server and also the status of the service. So we hope, guys, uh, this responds to many of your questions regarding if, if DNS are still blocked by, by Netflix. There's only one that is working, which is the one that we're showing you. So subscribe, follow us on twitter.com, be for Panama, on facebook.com slash be for Panama, and on youtube.com slash be Panama. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Happy streaming also. <laughs>